Howdy folks, a little tech bit we wanted to show you for the brand new Acura MDX. And it's an interesting system. What it does is it's a lane keep assist system. How do you say this? Is this Lynx? Lynx? L-Cas? -El L-Cas? L-Cas. Uh-huh. Okay. Which is better than pause, but anyway. Now the point is, is that what we're looking at here is a system that is able to detect the lines on both sides of the road that you're driving on. And it uses steering input in order to keep you in those lanes. Uh-oh. Yep, I saw it. I saw it. Relax, dude. I got, I'm on top of it. <laughs> yeah. What happens is, is you can use this with cruise control or even without cruise control from 45 miles per hour, I believe up till 90 miles per hour, right? Yeah. And it keeps you in the lane. So, as an example... Can you talk us you, through it? Yeah, well, we went through an intersection and it cut off. We'll get to that in a second. Right now I'm in the mode. Right now it's doing lane keep assist. I'm not touching the steering wheel and we're just cruising along at speed limit. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this baby in cruise control. There we go. All right, so I'm in cruise control. I'm not touching anything right now. And what it's doing is it is using its eye, which is in this box right above the mirror looking forward, and it determines where the lines are and it keeps you inside the lines. Yep, now it's still, yeah, I see it. It's, see, it's steering required. So you put, you just touch the steering wheel, let it know that you're still there and awake, and it'll keep going. So the real purpose isn't necessarily so you can just be lazy and not steer. But let's say you reach and get your wallet. Let's say you have to you know, yell at your kids and throw things at them. Something happens and you take your eyes off the road. If you're in this mode, it should keep you in the lane. So there's that. Now this is how it works, very simple. So you have to get above 45 miles per hour and then over here on the steering wheel, down here is a little steering wheel symbol with lines and that's it. You just activate it by pressing that. And then on the center display, it'll tell you that it's on by showing you the dashed lines which is exactly what it's doing right now. I am not steering the vehicle. The steering wheel inputs you are seeing are all done by the vehicle itself, which is actually kind of cool. Now, some systems do something similar, but they only use the brakes, and they're actually squeezing different brakes on different sides of the car to make it move into the lane. And in this case, it is using the actual steering wheel and moving it around in order to keep you in your lane. And it works seamlessly. Now, with that being said, intersections, right, Andre? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You get to an intersection and it immediately cuts off. What happens is it doesn't see the lanes anymore or it gets... Смотри, смотри, oh, yeah, I know. We'll see if it works. Большой. Крутой. Uh, it doesn't like that. Okay. So, folks, what happened there was the turn was just too tight. It doesn't want to do anything that is strenuous. It doesn't want you to go flying through an intersection or, in this case, around a corner. Uh, at a higher rate of speed where it cannot keep you in there. So it stops and it you saw the red flash and the yelling at you and the this and that, screaming people. The system actually works quite well. So once you get to an intersection though, the lines disappear. When the lines disappear, the car can't see them. When the car can't see them, it shuts the system off and you are basically on your own. It doesn't really give you too much of an audible warning saying, hey, you now are stuck. There are beeps. Little beeps, and little beeps can mean multiple things. But if you're smart enough to actually look at your display, you can figure out exactly what's going on. And in this particular case, in terms of what this vehicle is doing, I'm going to activate the system right now. So once again, pushing the steering wheel, it sees the lines. Wait, let me try again. There, yep. Yeah, now it sees the lines, so it's going to. Nope, doesn't want to keep me in there. See too much of a turn. It likes gentle turns. Yeah, if you're going through a neighborhood, this system's not going to work. There we go. Okay, it's on, and I'm going to go into cruise control at 55 miles per hour, which is the speed limit for this particular road. Uh, it's close enough. Okay. So, there it is. It's working, okay? Now, what does this say about autonomous driving? This is a baby step. This is a little tiny step. If you took this system and combined it, let's say, with the one that Mercedes-Benz is using, which is basically autonomous driving below 19 miles per hour, suddenly you have a system that would be able to Oh, what? It's lane departure. It doesn't like it. It just corrected itself. There you go. So going back to it, it, it would be two systems working together possibly to let you drive from point A to point B with very little input. One step beyond that, 
and we're suddenly at a place where you can jump into your car and say, take me home, I'm tired, and then lay back while the car does the driving, and we're almost there. Yep, see, he says lane departure, it's yelling at me. Poor Andre's too like this, he's reacting and freaking out. Really gotta cut back on the caffeine, my friend. Um, but the way the system is working right now, it's pretty intuitive, it's pretty simple, but it's also not very intrusive. And with the exception of it telling you that you need to touch the steering wheel or else it's gonna disengage, other than that, the system is very simple and very basic. And think about it, even though it's simple and basic, imagine all the electronics, all the technology that's required to make this thing work. I find it rather extraordinary. This system is cool. It needs a little bit more autonomy in order to really be a benefit to the driver in my mind. But there are some people out there who on a long stretch of highway could really use something like this. You know, just as they're cruising, they got their hand on the steering wheel, they take it off, they're doing something and they're not paying attention that the highway's curving. Check it out, the car curves, goes around the curve I should say. Piece of cake, right? Larry right, Andre? Yeah, and the, but I think two more points. Yeah. I think the lawyers from Acura would say, do not take your hands off the steering wheel. Which I don't recommend uh, myself. Right. I'm I doing think it. The, the lawyers will say that. And then it reminds me about you about every 15 seconds, correct? Yeah, we timed it, and it's about every 15 seconds you take your hand off the wheel um, for it to come back and beep and say, hey, we need an input here or else we're going to shut the system down. But just so you know, that's how far this tech has gone. It's a, def it's a baby step in the right direction. For those of you who are interested in autonomous driving, for me, it's terrifying because it's one step closer to the robots taking over. До свидания. Adios, amigos. Once upon a time, you had to watch a Jetsons cartoon for this kind of magic. Check this out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Try, try again. I'm holding it. Which one do you open? This one? Oh, hold this one. That's what I did. Okay, hold. Hold on. Okay. Check out this magic. I can unlock the doors, of course, and I can... Is it this one? Try the uh, trunk one. Ah! There we go. <laughs> real world testing, folks. This is real world testing. What if you can close everything? Nope. But, but, you're supposed to be able to start the engine. Andre, why isn't the engine starting? Maybe it needs to be unlocked. Maybe it needs to be locked. I think there's a computer setting for that. You have to go into the depths of it. <laughs> Too many damn lawyers in this world.